Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about some more information about the possible heist vehicles with some new information released from Fun MW2, who we've talked about in the past is an extremely reputable source of information. And he put out two tweets today that are giving us a little bit more insight and information on the supposed new vehicles that we're supposed to get with the heist update. So of course, I always see comments like this in the comments section, but this is not confirmed information. This is simply information from a very reputable person in our community who's been right on several topics in the past. So again, you do want to take it with a grain of salt. But nevertheless, he put out two tweets. The first one is Lampadetti Casco, which he's saying is going to be a sports classic car. The Heavy Insurgent, which is going to be an off-road or van vehicle. The Karen Karuma, which we know is a sports car. And the Dinka Enduro and the Prince Bay Electro are both going to be motorcycles. So I think that what Fun MW2 is saying matches up with pretty much what everyone else in the community and myself and my close friends have been saying we talked about this on the squad cast as well we'll start with the Lampadetti Casco we originally thought that was going to be a sports car Lampadetti is obviously a mix between Maserati and Jaguar in real life so you can tell it's going to be a sports car of some sort but I'm very happy with the sports classic I can see a, a classic Lampadetti car being pretty awesome for heist I can see that being a pretty epic vehicle now we also made a guess that the heavy insurgent was going to be that APC style tank and Fun MW2 thinks this is going to be an off-road or van. So I can imagine that it fits in that category. So that's going to be pretty cool. Obviously, when you think of heavy, heavy insurgent as well, you think of something along the lines of like an APC tank. So that kind of makes sense in that category. For the Karen Karuma, we already knew that that was going to be a sports car. Rockstar has officially confirmed that on their newswire. It's going to be a four-door sports car. So that's pretty cool. It's also going to have an armored version as well, which we'll talk a little bit later in the video. And finally, the two motorcycles, the Dinka Enduro and the Principe Electro. Now, we kind of had a, a little bit of a suspicion that the Principe Electro was already a confirmed motorcycle. You can see in the heist trailer that there is actually a new motorcycle with the words Principe written on the outside. But we didn't really know about the Dinka Enduro. That was a car that was kind of escaping us. We were kind of torn between whether it was going to be a sports car or whether it was going to be a bike. So I think this kind of clears it up that we are going to be possibly getting two motorcycles with the heist update. So that's really cool. FunMW2 also put out a second tweet that said two versions of the Karuma and also two versions of the Heavy Insurgent. Now this makes sense. The Karen Karuma that we saw in Rockstar's trailer and on the Newswire looked to be an armored version, very similar to the Duke of Death and the Imponte Dukes. So I believe there's going to be an armored version of the Karen Karuma and also a regular version of the Karuma that's more of a civilian body style and make. As far as the Heavy Insurgent, on this screenshot right here, you can actually see two different body styles of this NPC APC tank. So that's really cool. You can see one with kind of like the closed doors that's on the far left and also the one that has like the minigun attachment on the back. So that is awesome and I do think that is really cool and thanks to this information from Fun MW2, we get a little bit more insight on what possible vehicles could be coming to Grand Theft Auto 5 and what their makes and models could be. So this is pretty epic. So of course, let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section down below. What vehicle are you most excited about? Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.